Veterans Day. And uh, I think we have a, a few legislators uh, that are of that generation, as my parents are as well, I might add. Uh, my, 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 uh, my father had a deferral because he was a, a grad student in physics at the time. And physics grad students had deferrals because uh, they needed them to build bombs. He went into theoretical astrophysics instead. Um, this bill establishes March 30th as the Welcome Home Vietnam Veterans Day and really uh, allows for uh, the public observance and support uh, in all of our public schools as a tribute to the service and sacrifice of our Vietnam veterans, many of whom are very much still among us and we want to continue to celebrate their presence. Uh, it's really a pleasure to sign this bill a day after National Vietnam Veterans Day, which was yesterday. Some of you might have seen the photos of President Biden visiting the Memorial Wall in Washington that when I served in Congress, I, many, uh, I visited many times as well. Uh, and, and we have the bill sponsors uh, with us, Representative Sullivan, Senator Juarez Lewis and Rankin, uh, Senator Crowder. We have others with us as well. Uh, and I'm proud of Colorado's strong military tradition, um, home to more than 400,000 veterans, uh, some of them Vietnam veterans, some of them Korean. Yes, some of them World War II, obviously some of them Iraq and, and other conflicts as well. Uh, but as you know, across the entire country, including here in Colorado, too many Coloradans returned home after Vietnam, proudly serving our country, to a, to a nation that didn't show them the appreciation for their contributions to America that was their due, leaving us with a forgotten generation of valiant veterans. Uh, our veterans who laid their lives on the line to protect our freedoms, our military families deserve better, and this bill ensures that they get better. I hope that every year, on March 30th, we reflect, we express our gratitude for the brave men and women who served in the Vietnam conflict. And on behalf of all of Colorado, it is my honor to be the world. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice and welcome home. Uh, we will now go to our senators. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, Senator Juarez Lewis. Uh, Senator Rankin, uh, Senator Crowder, and Representative Sullivan. Uh, Senator Juarez Lewis. Yes, uh, thank you. I think I'm, uh, can you hear me all right? Yes. Great. Yes, I'm so honored to be a part of this and to have uh, Senator Rankin join me in this and Senator Sullivan, especially to uh, true care, uh, true community care in Lafayette. They're really the the folks that brought this idea to me. And uh, the first time they brought it to me, I said, are you sure this needs to be a bill? And absolutely it does. We have to get the whole state of Colorado involved. And, and as the governor said, uh, you know, Senate Bill 24 is really an attempt to remedy the past mistreatment and ongoing disregard of Vietnam veterans. Uh, you know, more than 2.7 million Americans served in Vietnam and we did some Back of, the map, back of the napkin calculations. And uh, uh, we know that uh, probably uh, 127,000 were from Colorado and um, an estimated 623 Coloradans lost life uh, during uh, A cousin, uh, my cousin Joseph Jaquez is one of them. His name is on the Vietnam Memorial Wall. So. Thank you so much for all of us doing this. I look forward to our celebration and our commemoration tonight in Senate District 17. Uh, and thank you, Governor, for being a part of this. And um, I'll turn it over to my colleague, uh, Senator Rankin. Well, yeah, thank you, Senator Yakos Lewis. And thank you for inviting me to be on this bill. It clearly was your and, and uh, Representative Sullivan's creation, as I understand it. Um, and, you know, I'm, I think I'm the only still serving Vietnam era veteran. So I was proud to represent the other veterans. Um, I was an intelligence officer guy, and I always admired, you know, those uh, veterans who served on in the front lines in combat. And so I, I was really proud to be able to ask Senator Crowder, who just left us last year after being term limited, and uh, to come back and join us. And then our Marine, uh, Representative Mike McLaughlin, who I served with a few years ago, 
so um, you know, I'm just proud to have them back. Um, I, I think we all had different experiences in those days. Uh, you know, some of us had easier jobs than others, and we all had different experiences when we, you know, left the service and and dealt with the general public. Um, and some some of our friends uh, didn't come home. You know, we can all go to the to the memorial and point to those names on the wall. My I, my ROTC friends and others I served with, and I, I'm sure that's also true of uh, Larry and Mike. Um, so, uh, you know, we all know that in those days, the public, you know, there was the anti-war movement going on. We weren't really uh, honored as veterans, I hope, are today. And so I think it's never too late to have Welcome Home Vietnam uh, Day. And so thank you, Governor and the other sponsors. I think this is very, very important. Thank you, Representative Sullivan. Uh, thank you, uh, Governor. And, and, and thank you, um, the Senators uh, who are all here today. And uh, uh, thank you for your service. And I said that uh, when we talked about this on the uh, um, in the well, I, uh, I never really thought that much about it uh, until they started at um, um, basketball events or something, telling veterans to stand up. And um, when they, I, I realized that, oh boy, you know, they must be talking about me. And um, because it was the most natural thing for me to do uh, in August of uh, 1974, after I graduated from high school, uh, to join the Air Force because that's where you know I had grown up. My mom and dad were both. Um, in the Air Force and uh, uh, guys that I served with and uh, and women were uh, starting to become uh, a part of the Air Force at, at that time. Um, so a lot of them had been in Vietnam and we were still uh, uh, doing a lot of stuff over in Thailand uh, with the Strategic Air Command is where I was um, serving in. So, um, yeah, it's 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 high time that we remember all of those. And especially as I again spoke out uh, about it. Um, during the, uh, World War II, the average age of our men and women that we sent over uh, were 29. Uh, the guys, the boys and girls that we sent over to Vietnam, the average age was 19. Uh, so a lot of them are still um, with us, and it's high time um, that we thank them all for their service. And um, uh, thank you, Governor, for signing this law, uh, signing this bill for us. Thank you. We have one more special guest who wants to say a few words, Michael McHale. President and CEO of True Community Care. Michael. Thank you, Governor Polis. Uh, on behalf of all of us at True Community Care, we wanted to thank uh, Senator Hawkins Lewis, uh, Senator Rankin, and, and Representative Sullivan for all of your work on carrying this bill forward. You know, as a hospice care provider, the first hospice care provider in the state of Colorado, we're now realizing that the deaths of our Vietnam veterans are different than the deaths of any of our other veterans who served our country honorably. We believe that this day, welcoming them home will lead to what we call moral uh, recovery from moral injury uh, on those things that they experienced uh, during their service in Vietnam. So we know that this day will be a reminder to our citizens to say thank you. Thank you for your service. You are valued and you're important to our country. And so, Governor, I thank you for signing this bill. I thank the senators and the representatives for carrying this bill forward. Uh, we're so grateful and so honored. And to those who served, including those on this call, <clears throat> Mike and Bob and Larry, thank you for your service. To every Vietnam uh, veteran, we want to make sure that you know that you are welcome home. You're a big part of Colorado. And we're excited to have you here. And thank you for your service. Without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and sign it here. And it is now officially the law of the state of Colorado. Welcome home, Vietnam veterans. Thank you for everybody for joining. And thank you for your work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to see your faces again. Yeah. Well, uh, Governor, I want to thank you for uh, your opening remarks about you know, making us feel old. 